Yes, you can. Okay. First question, where would I visit? Uh, I would visit the center of a rotating black hole. Because the, the, why, why would you want it? Because I'm not coming, I'm not coming back out. Uh, modern theories of relativity tell us that I might be able to survive the descent into a rotating black hole, and upon doing so, as the entire future history of the universe unfolds before me, another universe opens up right there for me. And so I leave one universe and actually enter an entire other space-time continuum. That would just be so awesome. <laughs> I want to do, not that I have any issues with this universe, I want to fix the problems and things, but the idea of, of, of a portal to another space-time intrigues me. So that's what I would do. The second question was... The intergalactic civilization. Well, what question would I ask an intergalactic civilization? Um, if they came to visit us here, for example, and they came from across the galaxy, uh, here's the thing. If they had the technology to visit us, they are way smarter than us, okay? So I would say to them, um, how much longer are you going to maintain this zoo that you're calling Earth? <laughs> <laughs> because if they're much smarter than us, we won't even know we're in a zoo. That's how that works. But we define ourselves as intelligent. I think that's hubristic. Because we're the ones doing the defining. Think about that, people, right? So, uh, the ones who should define us are those who are more intelligent than we are. And an alien civilization would certainly have that intelligence. I'd want to know what else they learned about the universe. Have they solved the dark matter problem, the dark energy? And uh, what do they do about limited resources? Or do they just have infinite access to the entire cosmos? Uh, th they sound like boring questions, but in fact they're fundamental to our own survival as we go forward. And so I put those as very high priority. I won't ask them what's your favorite movie, you know. <laughs> I mean, would really line that one up the right way in the interest of our survival. And third was... Stop teaching children science, what happened? If we stop teaching children science, they will learn science anyway, because children are born curious about the world around them. The problem comes about when we stop teaching science to adults, because adults run the world. They wield resources. They get elected to high office. And they're the ones that mess things up, not the kids.